Hello and welcome to System Goal. This is Randall. And today we're going to be going over some basic editing uh, images in Corel 7. Now initially I had a problem with Corel 7 because I like to drop a bunch of images at once. And if you try to do that, this is what you get. They're all on the same place. I would uh, in Corel six. I would drop them all in, and I could edit each one individually. So I was thinking you could not do that on this one, and I would take this and try to maneuver this and drop it over there. This is what it, you're supposed to do. There's a little X up here. So when you when you first turn it on, you get this screen. Don't add any. There's a little X here too. Just X this out. And now it's a blank screen like you would have on Corel 6. So now I could drop all five of these images right in. Booyah. Now they're set up a little bit differently. They, they're each in their own uh, tab. So that's great. So that's a problem fixed for me. Uh, because I kept using Corel 6 when I was editing images because I couldn't deal with this. Another thing about Corel 7 that I didn't like, but it's the same as Corel 6, is that when you're combining a bunch of images, you could not do the combine objects together control alt down arrow that won't work I'll do it now control alt down arrow does nothing but they have this button here it's the same as six they never fix that problem I don't know why it doesn't work but you just click here and you, you're done it's just a, another piece about seven I haven't found anything else that I either like or don't like about it but anyway here's the editing we'll start off with the first one here so these are images that someone has made, an artist has made for me, and I'm editing it, and it's for a kid's blog. So the first thing I do is, if, if there's very uh, detailed pencil work that kind of sticks out, then I would kind of blur it. Um, but this one is, doesn't need any blurring. It's, it's pretty good. So I just need to make it bright. So I go to Adjust, Brightness, and it, it leaves it for, you know, at the last place that you were at. This is the last setting that I had. So you just set it for zero, and then you could see what it was from the beginning without any alterations to it. So usually I start with just the contrast. If you bring the contrast all the way over, that's as bright as it'll get. In this case, there's a lot of black and it just makes the it just makes it darker so if i make it a little lighter that doesn't help us either so i think in this case just a little more intensity will do the job you know, what also I do, I put a black border around it. All these images are the same size, so I could put the same exact size border around it. So I go to Immer, uh, Immer, Image, Paper Size, switch from, from inches to pixels, and I make sure it's uncentered. And I add 200 pixels to both, and it's in black. So it's 200 there, and 400 to 600 here. And that's the border. So you do all the editing of the photos first, then you put the border on. If you put the border on first and then you do the editing, it'll make adjustments to the black border. It won't be a black border anymore. So then I resize it. I keep it at um, 300 dpi and bring it down to pixels. And I change the width to 650 
and the height automatically adjusts. And that's it for that one. Let's see about this one. See, this has a little bit of uh, the the lines I was talking about. You know, you blur it up so it's not so obvious that it's a pencil sketch. So let's try that. We'll give it a little bit of a blur. I use Jaggy Dispeckle. Dispec so I'll go to Effects, Blur, and then uh, Jaggy, Jaggy Dispeckle. And you go to 5 and see how, if it's too blurry or... And this is a very large image. So in this case, the blur doesn't do too much. It doesn't look blurry, so I'll keep it on 5. And now I go to the adjustment second. I always do the blur effect first, and then I do the adjustment of the brightness. So brightness, contrast, intensity. Okay, this is a completely different image, so we don't want that. Bring that back to zero on these. Okay, what I like to do is I bring the contrast, like I said before, all the way up and see how bright it could be. But just keep in mind that the as the contrast goes up, so does the specific details. So it gets brighter and brighter, but you lose more and more details. This doesn't have too many details, but I don't want it that bright. So you bring it up just to see how bright it goes. Then you bring it back to the beginning, and then you see, wow, this is needs to be a lot brighter. Not all the way that brightness in this case. So you slowly bring it up little by little until it's nice brightness that looks good but you see in this disappears as you see it starts off like that and as you make it brighter that gets smaller and smaller actually it gets bigger and bigger I like that blue to pop So in this case, it doesn't matter that it's expanding. That's fine by me. So that's good for this one. We'll go to the next. Especially when, when they're doing detail work like on a person. Um, you want these lines. You don't want it to be obvious that someone sketched it. There's a little bit of the color outside. If you blur it, then you could see if that's good enough. If not, then you may have to go in there. And I could show you how to get rid of this. But let's try the, the blur effect first. Blur. Jaggy to speckle. This is full. I say, ah, oh, that that's not this is not good enough with the blur. I'm still gonna notice this little part. So you zoom in by just scrolling up. Or you could just go over here and click what percentage you want. Or you could just type in a percentage. So then I go over to the area. And the best thing to do is, especially when it's not a solid background is to go over to the clone tool. You click on it once, left click, and then you, well, you choose the size that you need. This should be a good size. And then you click very close to where you're gonna do it. You're gonna go down this way. So you don't wanna put it, you wanna put it next to it because you're gonna be going down the whole time, right there. So you start at the top. You click once to where you want to put it, and then you click again to where it's going to go. So I'm coloring here, but it's coming from the circle that was next to it. So it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to get all the color out. Just get most of it. And then when you blur it, that'll take care of the rest. And you could let go, and when you click and hold down, that's when it starts painting. You just move it around to paint. Do it again. And you don't have to hold it the whole time. You just click and hold down the left click button. And then you move it. You keep moving it. Then you let go. If for some uh, reason there's somewhere else, like say there was uh, something up here, then you would just do it up and down. Like so, I'll show you. To get out of this, you just click the arrow, then you go back to it. 
Um, so you click up here and then down here to do it and then you move that around but there's really no more so I'm going to scroll down so I can see the whole screen now I'm going to go to the blurring effect jaggedy speckle that's on the full on normal size images the five jaggedy speckle would make it very blurry and I'll, I could show you that once I make it to 650 pixels I'll put the, the jaggedy speckle to show you how blurry it gets but when it's this big it has a very subtle change to it you could see that you don't really notice that any of the stuff there makes the lines a little smoother and more natural looking as opposed to like a sketch drawing now for the brightness this is all the way brightness you could see how much detail you lost it's very bright on one hand but you lost some detail there so you go back and you say wow this is so dull compared to that brightness so then you work your way towards it that's pretty much it this guy he got some some lines uh, well, let me go back to this other picture and just show you the jaggy disc speckle um, image resample pixels it's already set to 300 and it changed the width to 650 now I'll put the jaggy disc speckle on it uh, this is a hundred percent this is what the image will end up being um, so now you put the blur jaggedy speckle now you can see how blurry it is after uh, five too blurry so then you bring it down to four three two okay so that's reasonable I'm not gonna leave it on there because I, I don't need it in this case but I just wanted to show you how blurry it can get when you're using the jaggedy speckle on a normal size image okay this one We'll do the blur effect in here. We do the brightness. Look how bright it is. But notice where we lost. Look at their faces. Now when you go back to the beginning. There's, there's actually not too much detail in the faces, but the, it makes it more obvious that it's two-dimensional like this. So The pizza is definitely popping, though, when you go all the way up there. So we want to move towards there. It's like a happy medium somewhere in there. This looks good. They, still, they don't have the same color face as the wall. Okay. And then image resample. This is just what I'm doing. You don't have to resize it, but you do all the editing first while it's large, and then you reduce the size. That's the best way to do it. And then this is 100%. And one more. We want that blue to pop out. Uh, I don't think see anything to really blur. Uh, maybe. Let's try the uh, the blur effect. Jaggedy speckle. Okay. There's a little bit of color outside of the lines there, but that's okay. That works for us. And again, you can't be so critical because it's going to be smaller once you reduce the size. Uh, so here's all the way brightness. It's not too bad. But if you look in the face, that's where you're losing it. You're losing the quality. You want all this. Too, this is all too dark around here. It's supposed to be blue. So you start down here. So you just make it a tad brighter. I think that's as bright as we want to get it. Image resample. Oops. Image paper size pixels 3200 2600 actually just realized
the, the, the last image control Z bring it back to the full size okay I forgot to do the border on that 3200 2600 image resample now we put it to 650 you could add or the you you could add it you could add the border later I just prefer to do it this way see that black border sometimes they put like a little white around it Okay, so this is still full size, paper size, pixels, 3200, 2600, image resample, pixels, 650. Image resample. Okay. Control Z. It's full size again. Image paper size. I just thought that some of this might be uh, interesting or would be helpful for those uh, editing images. It's just some of the stuff that I do. And that's it. Thank you.